guys, I'm Dolly. I have one question for you. What do gymnasts, acrobats, and bananas have in common? Hmm, they can all do the splits, just like many of my friends here at Key City Gymnastics. Let's go. Welcome to Dolly and Associates. Today we are at Key City Gymnastics in Cranbrook, British Columbia, and we are joined by head coach Gary Ricks. Thank you, Gary, for joining Hi. us today. No problem. Nice I, having you. Uh, yeah, it, we've been, this has been a little bit of time um, with us having that excitement building to get into the studio. Yeah. I'm glad that the day has finally come. Finally, yeah, it's been a while, so it's awesome. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, first and <laughs> foremost, let's pretend I'm a student. All right. I'm a student that's new to the club. What is available to me in these four walls as a new student coming in? So we have everything from junior gym, which are under the age of five. Uh, as long as they're walking, we have those, um, all the way up to a senior or adult class that we're running. But seniors is kind of a new program that we're trying to get off the ground, teaching them the fundamental movement patterns and you know, maybe even teach them some more of their gymnastics if they're kind of keen into and that. And peer engagement, I bet at that point, instead of just playing shuffleboard, that was probably not the right yeah. choice of game, but, um, or crib with the friends, now you're out with, with that strong peer dem demographic yeah. and, and, and that's something that is often missed totally. as, as and, we age. Yeah, and getting them active. Yeah. I think that's a big thing. Yeah. So um, you offer them a space and a place exactly. to become active yeah. and to not just stimulate their body, but their mind. Totally, yeah. yeah. No, we're excited, we're excited about that. Um, we also offer parkour, um, which is kind of new under the umbrella of gymnastics. It's just another kind of adventure for kids to get into. What are the, the few pieces that are most prominently sought after or used when you come into the gym? I think the biggest thing, like if you were to look at our birthday program, because um, we do offer birthdays, I think the pit is a big hit. Um, and then our trampoline. So we have this big 50 foot long tumble track, which is yeah. like a, like a <laughs> basically it's a miniature trampoline, but it's 50 feet long. So mm -hmm. you can tumble on it, flip on it. And then we have just behind us the in, in ground trampoline pit that's better than your backyard trampoline. Like it's obviously a competition style trampoline. Um, anyone that's gone on it that has one in their backyard says it bounces way higher and it's a lot more fun. And so those are probably the, t the key elements, but obviously we have all the Olympic events for women, uh, vault bars, beam, floor, and then for men we have floor, pommels, rings, vault, P bars, and high bars. So those standard gymnastics that people would have grown up with in school. And yeah, so you're really fueling um, an athlete's ability to progress into their interests further. Like you, totally. you encourage the competition side of it, but you're also really enriching just the most simplistic childhood at that, at that little kid level yeah. that, you know, whether, whether they, if, if they don't compete, they still, these are memories that will stay with them totally. for a lifetime. When, when I and my wife got into the sport, it was, yes, we wanted to have a competitive program. I, came from a, a competitive background myself, um, and we wanted to develop that in, in our program. But the other thing was is that we wanted kids to do something, and like you said, whether they did it competitively or just did it at a rec level, or were just doing it for parkour for body awareness and balance and agility and strength and flexibility, it didn't matter what they did as long as we were kind of getting them out of that that uh, in front of screens and getting them active again and getting them, you know, showing them that there's, there's a lot more. And I think within that, if I was, if I was a child, if I was a student youth, um, I would feel that this was an outlet. Um, coming away from all of the, those other pieces and the world being so heavy, obviously in the last couple of years more than ever, um, this would feel like, like a bit of a haven. 
Totally. You see them come in and, and you know, we see them, we see them enter and they could have had a bad day at school or a bad day period. And once they kind of get going and they're with their peers, you see those smiles on their faces and, and that kind of like they're joking around and they're having fun. And it's just so neat to see them engaged and like you said, having fun. And even with the little ones, they come in and it's like a giant playground and they get to see um, all this equipment and to watch them go and explore. That's part of it too, is right. We offer them so much time to explore on their own. Like, okay, what was your favorite event today? Let's go back to it and see, see what you do. And, and I think with physical literacy being such a big part of not only gymnastics, but I think education nowadays, they're finding kids are going to be way more attentive at school. They're going to mm -hmm. be way more active if we can get them stimulated. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because what are the, what are a lot of kids? A lot of kids are active, but then you see a lot of kids are screen time. And, and that's a, that's culture. That's and I can say as a parent and a parent of of a certain amount of children, but then I also welcome international students into into my home. So right. so I have a good collection of personalities, yeah. and I get to watch them and in in. It's even hard as a parent to pull them off because our whole culture represents that right now. So it really is an asset to the families that, that there are places like, and people like yourself so that our children um, can, can find their way in a more simplistic childhood. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I grew up in a time where we didn't have, you know, phones and, and iPads and things like that to like, we were outside when the street lights turned on. It was a good time. Yeah. You went home and, and that was great. And I'm not like, we're not faulting anyone because it is a tough time, right? Like mm -hmm. all that is right in front of their faces. And it's just, if we can give them that other outlet yeah. that they can get to and, and do something. You know, when we, my wife and I took over way back in 2001 um, at the old facility and um, there wasn't a lot for kids to do. Yeah at that time in Cranbrook. You know, now that we have the soccer dome and we have the climbing gym and in the grand scheme of things, does it matter if they're doing just gymnastics? No, we want them active yeah. for life. Active as, as youth, active as young adults into their adulthood. Um, okay, so staying in character okay. of this student <laughs> on my first day. Yeah. Um, can we play? I, I just want to jump on things. Totally. I play. think you're going to go and hang out with Bryce. Okay. And he's going to go run you through some great parkour apparatus. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah. We'll, uh... Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome Bryce, a tenured athlete, a youth coach, and parkour enthusiast here at Key City Gymnastics. Bryce is gonna be my instructor today to learn a few new skills. Yeah, thanks for coming, Dolly. We're gonna introduce you right now to some uh, basic parkour moves, kind of just uh, give you some challenges there a little bit. We're gonna like, get you through um, and then go from there. I am scared and excited, but mostly scared. <laughs> well, that's good, because we're gonna work through some of those fears. We'll see what your body's capable of doing and adapt to other things if we need to. Excellent. And we'll go from there. All right? The idea is to keep it smooth. Nice. Awesome. New buck kickers. Like this? Yeah, there you go. I used to play a sport on wheels that we used to do this for. Beautiful. All right, one more time from here. See if we can roll back. Tuck that leg in and see if we can push ourselves to stand up. You got it, Dolly. Hoorah! Hoorah! Nice. Very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Feels good? Yes. Feels smooth? Yes. It's like this. Okay. No. <laughs> hey, hey, that was a good first try. There you go. Nice. So what we're gonna do here, right, is trying to be efficient and getting over top. One hand, one foot on top. Other leg through, down to the other side. Yeah, I think I can do that. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice, Dolly. Go. Ooh. Yeah, that was excellent. <laughs> I felt a bit of a delay. I'm going to try it one more time. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right. You got it. Go. Oh, my God, did it. That's okay. Okay, 
I'm not gonna be able to do it. That's where the insurance waiver comes in. That's what we call a ping. There we go. When you slip off. I ping. One, two, mother, oh. Ooh. Hey, good try. Do it again, do it again. Everybody falls. Nice. There you go. Go for it. Ooh. <laughs> and then some flair, I like it. It didn't work, but it was a, <laughs> it was a warrior attempt. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Nice. Yeah. Fight for it. Go, go, go. All right. So I was watching. How did it go with Bryce? It was wonderful. It was hot. I wore too much clothing. <laughs> it was it was a very warm activity. Yeah. Uh, I parkour surprised me a little bit when I came in. I didn't think that that it would heat me up or challenge me as oh. much as it did. Um, I found myself. Uh, I thought myself to be. Uh, a little more advanced, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> and then, and then Bryce taught me differently. Nice. So, uh, put me in my place a little bit, <laughs> but a great instructor. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. Nice. And uh, to bounce around on a few things, the bar, I, uh, it, it, it bounced a little bit. It, yeah. And it, that, that was fun to get a good swing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, so, so you have this new studio, and in current times, you've had an influx of students and for unfortunate circumstances, but you've been receiving quite a few families from the Kimberly Gymnastics Club yeah. due to a fire that devastated and displaced so many local families and, and, and families that were lifelong lovers of gymnastics. Yeah. You've opened your doors, you've opened your hearts, yeah. and you've said, we're gonna Come do this together, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was, obviously it was devastating and, and like our instant was, okay, what can we do? What, what can we do, not only, not only as our gym, but what can we do? What do you guys need help with? I remember getting that call from the head coach. Literally, she's talking to me on the phone at eight o'clock in the morning and the building is burning down. And um, we jumped in and my, my wife said, well, you know, let's get them, get them into the gym in whatever capacity will open our doors. I think it's important that one of the things that she said is that for the competitive team, it really was important that they kept their identity, that for this coming year, that they needed to stay at Kimberly Gymnastics. Even though they were, they were training under us, um, that they stayed Kimberly Gymnastics. And um, I think that was one thing that parents really appreciated. So we've had an influx of competitive athletes, but we also have had parkour and some rec gymnasts and even some junior gym parents as well yeah. um, come in. And it's just, it's, it's been such a neat, neat opportunity because we also got a coach. So, you know, <laughs> I'll take yeah, you. we'll take you. And <laughs> so it was really nice to have one of the coaches who obviously is out of a job now, but. Mm -hmm. You know, with with our situation, we needed another coach coming in just to and have more that. quality, the better. Exactly. Right? And you mentioned the parents and the families, and, and that's essentially that's why I, I came to find you yeah. with Dolly and Associates. It's important for me with this project to really showcase the people that are making a difference in the community in really a heartfelt way. And it was a close friend of mine as a parent, and I was with her, and she was telling the story of how heartbroken she was when her two daughters were displaced. Um, and they cried, and it was a, the whole family was affected. Yeah. Um, and and to hear her tone change when she spoke of of now the girls are coming here, it was a remarkable thing to hear. It, and I know that the feeling that she had in her family and so many others in Kimberly and what yeah. they're feeling by your kindness and your generosity, it just it was important that the that, that we showcase that because totally. that's really what makes a difference in in the ever changing world. Yeah. But whether it is the smallest thing or the biggest, those little pieces of kindness go the farthest. Totally. Um, and we weren't going to leave them like we we had to do something. We had to do something yeah. like it was a, that was important. Gary, it's been a pleasure. I awesome. had I was had so much fun on the equipment. <laughs> um, I might come back just to play sometime. Perfect, yeah. Uh, Adult gym. <laughs> Adult gym. Seniors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seniors, yeah. That's my, that's mine, down. yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fun. Right. And I am excited to see you guys grow. 
I think that the strength of your gesture to Kimberly, but what's going to come from that is going to build unity. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And, a, yeah. and a stronger friendship between the clubs and between yeah. everyone involved. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been, it's been fun. It really has. It, it's been neat. And as the kids have gone more, more into training together, it's, it's even, it's getting more and more fun. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks to Gary and Bryce here at Key City Gymnastics. Don't forget, check out Dolly and Associates on Facebook, YouTube, and Shaw Spotlight. See you next time. <laughs> this is difficult. Can I, can I put one of these in my backyard? I'll just... <laughs>